Hello guys and gals, Malkuth1974 back at you with another episode of our Buzz Aldrin Space Program Manager. Last time we left you, we actually were one step closer to getting to the moon with our Soviet space program, and today is going to be no different. I know last time I said we were going to repeat the same mission we did last time, but actually we're going to now move on from the this Soyuz mission to the L3 Soyuz LK Lunar Landing. And if you can see here, we can actually do another uncrewed uh, lunar flyby test if we want. But, we can do this, this one too. Or we can just move on to everything else. Let's see. Let's see what we got for percentages on this. We need to get this rocket. Let's select this rocket. And what is our percentage? Reliability is 89.6. So you know what? Let's just get that up a little bit more. I hate when I do that. I think we can we can close this program. And we can just do one more of these. Schedule mission. Something now. We won't actually watch this this time. We'll kind of skip it and see what happens. I've never actually skipped a uh, mission before. So let's get our, our guys in there. Let's get Olog in there. And retro. Let's try to check out uh, Surgeon. Don't need that guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. Light dude. I don't need him. I'm just trying to get all our good guys going here. Capcom, we don't need Capcom. assignments all right so back to space complex I still have two astronauts available we don't actually need to use them because we're just doing another test flight just to get that ship going a little bit better uh, what's his training at EBA. And there was one more, this guy. Science. There we go. I believe we're all set. Yep. So we'll just end the season. We'll go through this real quick because we don't really need to see. We'll watch the. Uh, this last, so I think, I believe this is the last mission for uh, the Venus probe. So we'll just kind of resume mission. Skip to outcome. We'll just kind of check these out. There we go. Done. Now this one. 90% will launch the mission. We'll skip to the outcome just to watch it. Successful prestige points. Yes. Uh, so the upgrade at one, oh, that was 3%. So this next time we're going to launch an actual, the circumference. I just wanted to get through that. And. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. 
Ooh. Victory will be ours, comrade. Yes, it will. All right. So now, yeah, we're just we're just basically on the way to the moon program at this point. Let's get. Uh, we can take the Luna Fifteen off there too. We don't need that. Uh, the Venera Fifteen. Is that? I'll have to check if that's still going. I was going to bother trying doing this, but we're going to be landing pretty soon, so it's not a big deal anymore. And here we go. We should have a 93% reliability, so that is beautiful. And we'll schedule a mission. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's, let's get everybody open first. I should have all our flight controllers open. Let me, uh, Open rocket programs. Right. Okay. Uh, missions in progress. So this still has two seasons left on it. And our flight controllers... I'm going to just have to make sure that everybody is on board. Remove. Because we're going to need them for this next part. All these guys are pretty high. There we go. I'll train anybody that I need to train. And we're going to get our best astronauts. I got, well, we can use... Well, I got a bunch of people open. Alright, so that's fine. I have a bunch of people and I can choose. I can choose and pick uh, whatever I want. Manage programs. And... We're here, we're here, schedule this mission, assemble now. Alright, so, booster, we're always going to put our best guy on boosters, extremely important. Uh, Olog on flight. Wow, why does it seem like there's not as many? I mean, it's not a big deal. Oh, put this guy here. Surgeon, we need a good guy on that. Inca. EFCon. These guys are all pretty high, so we'll put him here. What I'm basing it off is I'm looking at all the numbers here and seeing the guys with the lower numbers. And if they have quite high numbers in other areas, I will use them instead. So this guy will go there. Put this guy here. This guy here. So I'm getting a lot of this guy here. Flight. This guy will be a good flight guy. On P. There. Confirm assignments. Now we need a good commander. Uh, we need a good leadership. And a good pilot. I think I keep using the same guy, so... Let's just get these guys up here. Alright. Confirm assignments. Assembled. Nice. Alright. So I still have 
Some more guys I have to train, so we'll put these guys into advanced training. Piloting. And piloting. And piloting. We're just doing a huge pilot, a pilot program. <laughs> oh god. Me funny. Not really. Alright. Okay. That's good. And I have I have a bunch of guys available for flight control. Let's get this guy up on GNC. Oh, wait a second. I mean spacecraft systems. This guy is pretty good at that trajectory. And spacecraft systems. This guy can crew and payloads. Go down the next page. Propulsion. Keep these guys training. Uh, spacecraft system. Okay. I don't know why it said that, but whatever. That was different. Alright. And we have a bunch of scientists available. So let's see if we can put some on uh, R&D. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let me break these guys off. And we'll get all high ranking officials over here. Nice docking system. Alright, let me get this docking system going too. There we go. Just getting everybody I can train trained. Back to solar system. Uh, it's payloads. Manage rocket programs. That's 97%, 99, 94. The N1 booster. Is that 92? Okay. Maybe I should open another program. What is this? The R7. We already did that. Why is that only at 3%? That's weird. Huh. I'm not even sure what this one is, but I'm going to open this one. Yes. So, we opened another new rocket program. We're just getting ready for any future missions that we might have to come back to. It says current reliability is 75%, which is pretty damn awesome. Alright. Starting out with, I mean. Do we have everybody in? Yes. Alright. I think I'm all set. Yes. Everything's going good. We got lots of training programs going on right now. So we will proceed. This is at 95%. Resume mission. We're going to skip the outcome for this one. Successful. Prestige. So there should be one more mission left on that. Done. And now we have this one, which is 93%. We're going to launch this. We are going to monitor this one. This is a brand new mission. If we get any problems, we can uh, fix it. Here we go. 
don't forget, we also have that pop-up now that they've added that we can uh, hire specialists. So we're definitely going to use that. We're always going to hire the best specialists. We have plenty of money to get these programs off. What a beautiful rocket. The N1. Very reliable. It's going to get us to the moon. And we're going to win. We're going to win the space program, baby. Remember, this is a manned crew, so they are going to uh, around the moon. We got a blinking systems nominal. So we're going to hire three teams, actually. Now I'll, I'll do two. We'll see how that goes. Come on. All right, systems nominal. That's good. Another systems nominal. Oh, jeez. Hopefully we're not having a failure. Come on, green. Thank God. There we go. Oh my God, another systems nominal. Blinking systems nominal. That usually means when it starts blinking, that means there could be a problem, but not too sure. Oh my God! I'm gonna pump this up to three. Systems nominal. Just iron out all the bugs so we don't have too many issues. Success. Beautiful. And here we go. We're coming back into Earth. This mission was quite expensive, actually. We had three of those uh, pop-ups to help pay for things. So we're talking about almost 68,000 bucks, probably, that we spent to make sure this mission was successful. But You'd rather have a successful mission than a failed mission, so always keep that in mind. There we go. And our prestige points earned were 8,800, which is phenomenal! Phenomenal! There we go. There we go, baby. Suborbital flight done. Bulletin and news. We rule... So they are definitely moving up on us, so we gotta keep moving. Phew. Alright. So let's see what we can do next. Manage programs. We'll get this back up. We've done this. Uncrewed lunar orbital flight test. I'm not quite sure why there's another one of these. Uh this mission involves an uncrewed lunar orbital flight test in order to check the performance of the Soyuz spacecraft before attempting a lunar orbital mission. Okay, that makes sense. So these are just keep testing our missions. Why don't they have? Oh, because they can't. They can't get any higher for the N1. Select rocket and schedule mission. Assemble now. I'm going to put booster guys in here. Uh, do, 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 do flight. We've got to put Olog in there. Uh, let me see. We don't need a surge in retro. Definitely best retro guy I have. Ecom. This guy will be fine. GNC. This guy will be fine. Inco. 
Okay, we can put this guy in there. O and P. He's also good at spacecraft systems. So we use him. A flight. Nikoliti Network. Keep him up. Fido, we'll just pound these guys in. And bam. Confirm assignments. Yep. So we got that going for us. And I'll put these guys back on training. Should be one more guy. You. Piloting. Any more guys? Nope. Back. And we can put some more people into other programs again. Uh, manage payload. R&D. Let's see what we can uh, start. What else we can research here for research and development. I got all these guys looking into this. All right. Let me. These are. some Mars probes going. What can we use for a booster on this? Ah, this one, huh? That's nice. Select that. Research and development. We'll get a few guys working on this. And back to the list. This should have opened up everybody. Yep. And I have two flight controllers I can train. At least it's, I should be able to train them. Last time it wouldn't let me. So spacecraft systems. And crew and payloads. We'll get this guy going on crew and payloads. There we go. Back. 516. What are we at for money? 285034. Okay, so end season. Yes. This should be the last season for the uh, our Venus probe. We actually started uh, researching on a, a mission probe for Mars, if you guys missed all that. Kind of going through this real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, resume mission. I'm going to skip the outcome of that. Oh, it failed! That sucks. The very last mission, it freaking fails. Alright, launch mission. Monitor from MC. This is unmanned. And this will be our last mission for this episode. This is a lunar orbit test flight. The previous one was a lunar flyby. This is a lunar orbit. Systems are nominal. This mission is 95% success chance, so I don't suspect that we're going to have too many issues. But for whatever reason, System Zombie always seems to want to pop up on me. Blinking But I believe we're all set. There we go. We've got an e-comp link, but that's alright. It doesn't seem like anything major is going right now.
So now we're doing the actual lunar orbit. So now we're in orbit of the moon. Now they're back to Earth. This one's gone off with pretty much no hitch at all. I love it when things go right. Oh, I just probably just messed it all up. It's a real bummer about the Verena project, though. The Venus probe. Oh, we got a blinker. We're all fine. We'll just start calling those a blinkers from now on. How's that? There we go. Successful mission. We should get a bunch of points for that. 1650, which we lost a bunch for the uh, the other program part failure. So, you know, it was pretty pretty okay. Done. Done. Yes. Nice. Well, all right. Well, there you go. So we've gotten our program off to a good start. We have completed two more of the moon missions. Our next mission is going to be the actual lunar lunar orbital flight, and then we'll do a lander test, and then the actual test, the actual uh, landing. So until next time, guys. This is Malkuth, 1974. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series, and we'll see you later. Have a great day. Malkuth, 1974, out of here.